This is Dr. Dina Mannion, and uh, she's the clinical director of a dual diagnosis treatment program. Dr. Mannion, I'm very concerned. You know what his career is. His career has been crashing into brick walls with his head. Yes. And as a result of that, there's not a question if he's had brain trauma. The question is how much residual damage has been caused by this trauma. And then on top of that, he's done about every drug known to man, some of it years ago, but he doesn't understand, as most people don't, that you can do that drug one time 10 years ago and it can have a residual effect by scrambling the neurotransmitters in your brain. It sounds like you need to kind of get down to just the basics and see what's going on. And it sounds like that's what you want to. Rehab is just simply not for me. Sometimes when you take yourself out of your environment where there's a lot of stress and a lot of turmoil, you kind of pluck yourself out of that and you're in a safe place where everyone can kind of watch you closely yeah. and really see what you need. We'll get you skateboarding, we'll get you physical activity. You can get all that stuff out, but, but we also want to kind of figure out yeah. what's going on with you so that you don't have to be in rehab. We've got to find out, yeah. are you bipolar? To find out if you have a, an anxiety disorder, to find out really everything that's going on with you. He needs to stop being in denial. He's doing more than Adderall, obviously. You can see that on Instagram. Nobody acts like that. I think I'm so frustrated that like, <clears throat> everybody just must be like, what do you want? I'm like, I'm not on anything. You're crazy. I'm just asking you if you'll cooperate in doing this. I've just lost hope on doctors and you're the one that I would only listen to. The last person I left is Dr. Phil or else I give up. All right, but don't give up because I'm here. I'm, I'm in. Okay. Everything you say, I obey, I agree. Deal? On the season premiere of America's most watched daytime talk show, Dr. Phil, I need your help in a big, big way. My family is in shambles. Bam Margera. I'm amazed that I cry for your help and Dr. Phil's team is here. I'm like, how did they find me? When I see a young man that's in trouble and asking for help, my ears prick up. The issues. Do you believe you have trouble handling alcohol? Not lately. Is there something wrong with you? No. Why are you here? His mother. You are addicted to drama and entitlement. I don't want to talk to you ever again. His wife. You don't listen, you don't follow rules. You've been yelling at her, you do this, you do that, you do this. That's just purely abusive. The outbursts. You were kicked off a flight. Do you think anybody can do 50 shots of tequila, you idiot? Does that seem like a reasonable conversation to be having? You calling him an idiot and a moron? And his cry for help. I've just lost hope on doctors. The last person I have left is Dr. Phil or else I give up. A Dr. Phil exclusive. Tell me about your little boy. He is the raddest kid ever. He's like my best friend that I've known, known him not even two years. So you'd die for him? Yeah, big time. And the question is, will you live for him?